What's going on, everybody? I'm the Goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. As you can see, I have Blender 3D here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys uh, how to install the add-on that will allow you to view 3D models from the PC version of NBA 2K, which currently the current version of NBA 2K will be 2K22. So I know. You know, after a few months, this video will be old, but hopefully this helps you guys update Blender and update, you know, some tools you can use. All right, so I'm using Blender version 2.93.5. That's the version I'm using, and I'm new to all of this. I haven't used Blender in months. Um, I haven't messed with 3D models for 2K in several months. I have an entirely new computer. Last time I used Blender, I was on Windows 7. I'm on Windows 10. So I kind of don't know what I'm doing, all right? But I spent some time messing around. I figured things out. I spent about an hour figuring things, enough things out that I could make a video so you guys don't have to waste an hour, all right? So once you have Blender open, the new version of Blender, you want to go to Edit, you want to go to preferences okay uh, at first I think it's going to say interface but you want to click down here where it says add-ons okay just want to click add-ons you just want to leave this like this then we're going to minimize the blender 3d program altogether then you guys want to get this file here this is a, a compressed file yeah, um, basically it's going to have the add-on files that you need so in order for you to get this I found this link and I'm going to have the link in the description now it may say you need to sign in to download this you need to have an NLSC account NLSC if you don't know what that is that's the NBA Live Series Center this here NLSC Series Forum that's where uh, this site has been around for over 20 years, okay? And anyway, you're going to need to have an account here. Um, they, they, they focus on basketball video games, all right? But you need to have an account here in order to download the file, to my knowledge. Maybe it'll let you download it without it. Anyway, so we've got this. And then it's a zipped file, but in Windows, you can just double click it. And then you'll go inside of the zipped file. It'll have this folder it says NBA 2K underscore tools. We just want to double click in there. Then we're going to go in here. We don't need the readme file. The readme file actually pertains to 2K17, I believe. The This was originally made for 2K17, but it should still work for 2K 17 all the way through 2k22 so big credits to greg k waste he created this all right so i'm highlighting the four files because i'm going to drop them in another folder what i want to do is i'm going to come over to my blender icon on my desktop i'm going to right click from there i want to go to properties from there i want to go down left to the left and click open file location it gives me a new window but first i'm going to close this properties window close that then i'm going to put these side by side all right so over here in my blender file location I want to click on my folder that says 2.93. Then I want to go down to where it says scripts. And then where it says add-ons, I want to double click that. Okay, now we can drop these four files that we have highlighted over here. I'm going to drag them into this add-ons folder, but make sure before I do that, uh, don't 
drag them don't accidentally drag it into another folder so I'm gonna scroll down here away from these folders I'm gonna scroll down here to where these files are and then I'm gonna drag this where the files are and as you can see on my screen it says copy to add-ons all right I've got this box checked just check this for do this for all current items because it says we need permission to copy these over so I'm gonna continue all right, so all four items are now in here and they're highlighted blue. Okay. Okay. From there, we should be able to close this folder where we just dragged our original files from. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to leave this add-ons folder up just in case. All right. Let's open Blender back up. What we want to do is, uh, if you come here and you search for 2K, nothing comes up. That's fine. You want to click refresh. Once you refresh, then you'll see there's an option for import, export, NBA 2K model. But anyway, you, you guys will see it. It'll come up. It's the only thing that says 2K. All right, before we check, before we check this box, uh, what I would do if I were you, I would drag my mouse over to the right side of the screen and we're going to click this right here, Scene Properties. Okay. Scene Properties. It has a little cone and a sphere as the icon. Scene Properties. Now, you won't see anything about NBA 2K over here. But if we go back to the left side of our screen and check this box, you see, you see what happens? Look at that. When I check it, we get options to import and export a model file. And the model files are the 3D files for uh, NBA 2K. All right. So we get those options. So we just want to leave this checked. And then right here where we searched, we can just click X. We no longer need that. In fact, we don't need any of these preferences anymore. We can click to close this out. Okay. And we don't really need this program right now because we, we have this import option and export option over here. So now if you want to create 3D cyber faces or mess with the arenas, you can import the the 3d model file and then export it after you make your changes but this was just a basic video on how to get the add-on installed for this version of blender this is Windows 10 so I hope I was very patient with everyone if I was give me a like on this video please please give a like to this video so that it can get to others who also want to become modders because uh, modding has really taken off over the years. I would like to think I was a big part of that with my tutorials over the years, making the knowledge available to everybody. Hopefully, in it, I did it in an easy way to understand. And even if it wasn't easy, I was kind of like one of the only people doing videos a few years ago on how to do this stuff. And now we have more people teaching people how to do this stuff so we can have more mods and uh yeah but anyway i want to give credit to greg k waste for you know he he wrote all the code for this add-on so greg k waste you're not forgotten uh definitely giving you credit man I know you haven't been around a while in the modern community but if you see this video man big thanks to you all right, guys, that's all I've got for this video. 